Hey guys, what's up? It's Darwin. So today I figured I would do a new gear review on a tent that I recently picked up this past season. Um, I wanted something that was a one person, a little bit smaller than what Snuggles and I usually use, um, and something that would be really good for the Arizona Trail, the bike packing through ride that I'm about to set out for at the end of October. So I picked this guy up, been really happy with it, taken it out a few times. It's the Six Moons Design Skyscape Trekker. The Skyscape Trekker is a great little one-person, one-man, double-wall, cell-nylon tent. Um, it has a double vestibule and a pretty nice bathtub floor. On each vestibule, both sides come up and it gives you a full 360-degree view of outside of your tent. The tent by itself comes non-seam sealed, but you can have Six Moons Design seam seal it for you for a little bit more money. Now, I had mine seam sealed and the tent itself with the bag comes in at 24 ounces. That's 24 ounces for the tent and fly because they're attached together. And then the seam ceiling adds about an ounce more um, weight to the actual tent. So about 25 ounces for the total tent. Now because it is an ultra light tent, it does use two trekking poles to set it up. So you can either use two trekking poles if you're doing a backpacking trip, or Six Moons Design sells these custom carbon fixed poles. Um, there's two of them here and the two poles come in at 3.6 ounces. Uh, super lightweight fixed so you can use them on a bike packing trip without having trekking poles and still set up your tent. And those are sold separately. So again 3.6 ounces uh, a little bit more money and you don't have to use trekking poles and it makes it a great bike packing tent. Also not included with the tent, you can order, you can either use, some people use a Tyvek ground tarp, which Six Moons Design does sell pre-made ones for their size tents, but they also sell something a little bit lighter, a Poly Crow ground sheet, and that guy weighs in at 1.2 ounces. Um, you do get a double pack of them, so whenever you order them, it comes with two of them, but they're 1.2 ounces a piece, and they help protect that bottom of that sill nylon tarp a little bit better. Also not included with the Skyscape Trekker, but something that I picked up from Z-Packs were stakes. Um, it requires at least a minimum of five stakes to set up. So I got Z-Packs' titanium 6.5 inch titanium stake with the red handle so you don't lose it. So that's 1.4 ounces for five of these little guys. And then I made a custom little Cuban fiber stuff sack that I had from some uh, extra Cuban fiber laying around that I just kind of put those in and it makes it easier to store. So the total weight of the Skyscape Trekker with the seam seal, the two fixed carbon poles, the five titanium stakes and my little stuff set, and the Polycro ground tarp comes out to 30.2 ounces or 1.8 pounds. So 1.8 pounds for a full tent set up. Um, that is a good three season tent and should work really perfect for me for the Arizona Trail. So let's open it up, check it out, and I'll set it up for you. all set up and as you can see um, a lot of nice room on the inside the cool thing that I really like about the vestibule is not only does it roll up on this side but it also rolls up on this side and then gives you uh, nothing but mesh on both sides because it is a double vestibule so you can see completely all the way around now if we take a look on the inside You'll notice that there's a ton of room for one person. Um, I am 6'1", 
also, you can see that I have a ton of room. Um, also keep in mind that because I am bike packing the Arizona Trail, not backpacking, I don't really need as much room for gear because most of it is on my bike anyway. So I don't really have to worry about having that extra room for the gear that I need. Um, it can stay on my bike in the bags to where I don't need to bring them like a pack in here if I was backpacking. So to show you a couple nice features of the inside of the tent, um, you can see that the bathtub comes up pretty nice. Um, it's mesh all the way around. So this nice no see mesh completely surrounding the tent. And then that is what I meant by double wall. So if you notice, the mesh sits here and then the vestibule and everything else sits out there. Uh, same with here on this side, on the front of the tent. Um, and what that does is it really cuts down on condensation with just having a double wall tent. Um, so because there are two walls, two vestibules, you don't get the condensation buildup as you do with other tents. Uh, a lot of the one person backpacking tents or bike packing tents do have a single wall construction. So the nice thing about this one is they give you that double wall. So if you're in a little bit more of a humid spot where you're gonna get a lot of condensation, uh, you're pretty safe from that. A couple small features on the inside of the tent are they put a nice little gear loop up here um, at the, what, I guess this would be called the atrium. This is where the poles stick in. So there's two little slots up here um, and that's where the carbon fiber pole or your trekking pole sits in. And then it just kind of sits down here in this little cup. Um, next to the cup, there's a little gear pocket. So you can throw some keys um, or, you know, your, your headlamp or what in there at night. But the inside is pretty basic. Uh, here are the tie backs to roll back both of the vestibules. Um, and really this tent relies on good tension and good ground placement to make sure that that bathtub floor comes up at a nice level. When it's properly set up on nice flat ground, um, you get a really nice big bathtub floor on it that keeps you nice and dry if it's gonna get wet. You'll also notice that I am fully setting up and there is a ton of headroom uh, between the top of my head and the tent. Um, it's just a really nice roomy tent, nice and long and definitely made for a longer hiker or biker. So yeah, I am really, really digging this tent. Um, definitely I'm gonna put it to the test for 20 to 25 days and really see how it holds up. But for right now, I'm really loving it. And so you can find the Skyscape Trekker over on sixmoonsdesigns.com. Uh, check out all the other specs on the tent and all the accessories that I showed in the video. They also do make another version of the tent um, that is a full Cuban fiber version. Uh, a lot lighter and also a lot more expensive, so check that out too. Hopefully you guys dug this full review and walkthrough of my new home away from home whenever I'm bikepacking the Arizona Trail, and then some solo backpacking trips that I'm going to be taking. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be carrying it on the PCT yet, but the Arizona Trail, definitely. There's a couple other options I'm looking into for the PCT, so that's kind of still up in the air right now. Um, recently I hit 2,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I'm now over 2,000 subscribers. Thanks to all you guys for subscribing, following my videos, watching me, listening to me babble about gear and adventures and stuff like that. Really, really appreciate it. Um, coming up within the next week, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, a gear giveaway, here on the channel to celebrate my 2,000 subscribers. So keep an eye out for that because I'll be giving away a nice piece of gear. Um, if you haven't got a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I post a lot of pictures of my trips, um, a lot of pictures throughout the week of some stuff I have coming up later in the week, some previews of the videos that I do every Thursday. So definitely make sure you go over and check that out. Um, like or dislike this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.